today is a huge day. Uh, the focus of, of today is, is to show the company, uh, Voter and Team Cementos, that uh, we do have strong community support, that the uh, Canadian workers are behind what's going on here, and that uh, people are really willing to stand up and fight for their pensions. They have a multinational corporation going to buy a Canadian company, going to use our natural resources. The reality is the existing collective agreements must be protected because uh, this is a classic example that this strike is not necessary. The employer told us they can afford it. They're just not going to do it. Absolutely disgusting that we have to be here today instead of being in that workplace earning a living. But the company forced us to take action. After eight weeks of bargaining, the company would not pull back from their demand to change our pension plan. But these members are taking on a fight that's not just about this workplace. It can happen in any workplace. It can happen to any working Canadian at any given time. The CUT repudiates the attitude of Votorantum and hopes the immediate return to negotiations without preconditions. We can't believe that a Brazilian multinational company as Votorantum wants to increase its profits by removing workers' rights to have a decent retirement. Its authoritarian behaviour and its anti-union practices will only reinforce our ties of solidarity. The CUT reaffirms its commitment to the struggle of our Canadian brothers and sisters. I would like to thank the membership here in Bowmanville for having the courage and tenacity to stand up and defend the pension plan that's been in place since this facility opened in the late 1960s. When this was uh, owned by a Canadian company, there weren't all this uh, labor dispute, you know. They got reached fair agreements, fair work for fair pay, and the workers knew that they had a pension at the end of that their time in the plant. Now this uh, corporation, this corporation from Brazil, wants to break the union, wants to break the spirit of the workers, and I think it's just an absolute disgrace. Whatever it takes, uh, we need to get politicians involved. Uh, the entire labor movement needs to be involved in, the, in this undertaking to uh, secure workers' pension, not just um, union workers, but workers in general. When someone gets to that age, they need to know that their pensions are, are secure. We've been lobbying the government for months now, and we're going to continue that, and hopefully they can make some legislative changes, and uh, we can get everybody back to work. So come on, let's get real and let's people work. They, they want to be here. They want to earn their money. They want to do what's right for themselves, their families and everybody else. It's all they're asking for. So I say to the management folks here in Canada and extend that message to Brazil, get back to the bargaining table. Show your employees of St. Mary's Cement the respect that they deserve.